Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I know I am because I get to talk about Predecessor. Today, we will be talking about the potential item system slash card progressive, progressive system, whatever, that Predecessor will likely have. Alright, first off, it's pr pretty sure it's going to be different uh, than the cards from Paragon, which to, is honestly not that big of a deal. The original card system, this is not the original that's, that's right here, but this is the later one, but the original card system for Paragon was basically just items, but they were called cards and they had like different visuals uh, on their thing and it was called a deck instead of like an inventory or whatever you would call it with items. Um, so yeah, basically now that it's items instead, I, I'm guessing we'll still probably have some customization uh, onto what items we have for like each character is creating uh, quote decks or whatever you would like to call them with items. Uh, we'll probably still have that kind of customization. I hope so, at least. It was a fun it was a fun thing to do in Paragon to build a deck. So hopefully that'll still be a thing. I think it will be. Because overall, like it, it shouldn't change that much. It's pretty standard MOBA stuff. The difference will be, if you played, played Paragon in its later season, um, the card system was way different. So it was like... The pictures are like really dim for some reason, but basically you had cards that had like specific passives and like things they would give you that you didn't really build into. You just like, they costed certain points and stuff and then you would get like the passive right away and then you could like build into different attributes. It was really weird. I was not a big fan of it at the end. I think a standard card system is, is just fine or item system is just fine, uh, Paragon for being as a MOBA. So I had no problem with it. And that's what it looked like. I have a picture. This is like one of the only screenshots that I really have. This is like just a little picture of the items, some of the items. Um, as you can see, a bit of a different setup than what Paragon was. Um, just a little bit though. Uh, you see you have like health potions. Uh, for a while, I think for all of it actually, Paragon's health potions were like regener regenerative. So if you bought a health potion, uh, every time you backed uh, to spawn, you would just regain those charges. They changed that. Uh, at least in the close alpha, it's now you have to buy the, you know, like 50 gold health potion. Uh, <clears throat> and you can buy like a few of them at a time, I think. And then, as you can see, we have like, uh, it's very similar to like League of Legends or really any other MOBA. But you have like arrows, a uh, sword, and these are obviously very, like, very beginning, like, stages of this artwork for this. It obviously looks very out of place because Paragon is so realistic and that's one of the things that makes it super unique. Uh, and these items are just like... Pretty pretty standard, like, mobile items. They look really out of place, but I'm sure that they'll be changed to, like, different artwork. But you get the idea. Sword, you know, like, attack damage and, uh, like, attack speed. Arrows are, like, attack damage and attack speed, stuff like that. There, I think there's some shields and stuff that were, like, defense and health. That kind of thing. Like I said, really not much of a change except from the later stages of Paragon. But I think the later stages of Paragon were not that great in their card system anyways. So I don't really have any issue with it. Uh, I'm sure it'll play just fine. But yeah, that's a little bit of what we can see. I'm excited to see what kind of uh, new artwork they make for these and cool passives because we don't really know uh, what exactly kind of like unique passive items they're going to have that will like kind of help different characters more than others. That'll just uh, pander, pan to their game style better. Game style? To their play style better. Uh, so yeah, it'll be really interesting to see. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else to say. That's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe for more predecessor content and general gameplay. Of just obviously, I can't really get any gameplay of this right now. Hopefully soon, because I'm I love talking about it, but I'm getting a little antsy. I'm ready to play the game, but you know, so still so much to be done in video game development like this. So I don't blame them at all. I'm just really excited. Hope you are too. I'll try and get some other different games out of actual gameplay. You guys probably don't care about that. You're really just here for the predecessor content, which is totally fine. I'll still do that weekly. But if you do care, uh, yeah, I'll try and put out some sort of gameplay of you know something else. Not sure what it will be yet, but maybe something. Maybe Rocket League. I've been playing a lot of Rocket League recently. Whatever. I'm getting on a tangent. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.